good too, let's go. I've been looking forward to today all week. There's been a lot of talk about cars and plans and projects in the house this week. And, and now it's the weekend. I got up pretty early. Plan for today is I need to start stripping the black. I call it black. It's actually phantom grey pearl, but I was adamant it was black because really I need to get that shell gone. It's just, we just have too many cars at the moment. Charlie's on about getting another project in. Hopefully some of that will be on my channel as well at some point. Need to get my driveway back and I need to crack on. It's now the end of January basically. And my plan is that I wanted to get this done for shows in like June. My dream is to reveal this at Players. Just because I love Players, it's such a good show. I, I have applied and like I'm hoping they will let me in with my perspective application also can't find my little handheld tripod phone holder thingy just gonna have to wing it today can't actually decide where to start wee bit chilly because we got some frost it's like probably three degrees celsius out here right now gonna go grab some tools right gonna grab this up for anyone who hasn't seen my day one this is how it is currently not as cool as it used to be. Still a sick daily. The rear seats are not where they should be. And carpets. I actually think these are kind of cute. I kind of like the pattern on these. Oh, I've been looking for this everywhere. These are actually cool. Maybe I'll have to try and give these some love because I'd kind of quite like to keep these in, I think. It is a flipping beautiful day. It feels like spring. In the interests of my own comfort, I am going to keep my driver's seat in while I take out my steering wheel and everything. I don't know how long it's going to be before I spill my cup of tea, but it's currently perched precariously here. I actually really struggled when I put the steering wheel in because I was watching a video and it was telling me where certain things were to take off. I realised that mine is not the same. I can't actually take my steering wheel off because all of my big sockets are at the unit and I'm at home. Off to a good start already, guys. I would just like it on record that I actually don't know what I'm doing because I have never stripped a car before, especially taking the interior out. I don't know how to take a dash out. I've taken some door cards off before, so maybe I'll start with that. <laughs> How they make cars like they don't want you to take them apart unbeknownst to me when i bought this this car has actually had a replacement door but it's actually red underneath all preludes come with different color tints and mine everywhere has a bronze tint and you look at this window and it's a blue tint so this door has definitely been replaced driver's door card is off and you can see the lovely red color that this door once was I don't want to teach anyone to stop eggs here, but just in case you don't know how to take the door car out. I guess it's pretty much the same for most cars. Four screws to take a door card off. One in here, one in here, one here, and one here. And then it's just a case of yanking. I had a casual in and I snapped where the door handle goes. Good job I've got another car, right? <laughs> Like when I say I'm learning, I've literally never done. Well, I've never seen anything out. Oh, come on the camera, the camera. Amateur alert. My best guess is these screws here, because that's where the wing mirror is. I'm not a good influence. I will just break things if I can't get them off. Hey. One. Definitely getting that vitamin D today. Oh, glorious. Just want to have my little tea break. Just curious to know if anyone has got an equally ridiculous project happening at the moment. What you're building, if you're documenting it, feel free to drop your links down below and I will have a little gander. And yeah, just let me know what you're doing. Also, just like to address the fact that there are currently, at the time of me videoing this, 51 people who have subscribed to my channel. And that's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but to me that is just actually mad that 51 people actually want to see me not have a clue what I'm doing with this car and see what I end up doing with it at the end. That's cool. So thank you to anyone who's subbed, and if you haven't, please do. I will continue chatting shit if you find me to. We apologise for any terrible quality of my videoing. I am dealing with a very smashed phone currently. So if you ever get a glare, especially when it's like front facing camera, then that is why. Oh, pop the glass. It's okay, it's not broken. We are good. Why do I make this hole so small? Anyone need some wing mirrors? Hit me up. Right, what next? 
I do think I'm at the point where I should probably take the seats out because it's going to make everything easier. I'm going to do it. Never taken a seat out in my life, so here goes absolutely nothing. There's a bowl. She up for a 12. That is not big enough. I swear to God, if this isn't a 13, I don't have any bigger sockets here. I'm going to cry. You are joking. It's a 14. That's literally the next one and I don't have it. I don't want to go to the unit for tools because it's like 25 minutes each way. I've messaged my dad and asked if he can bring me another socket set up because he's only around the corner. And I think for the time being, maybe I'll try and take the rear... Do you call them rear door cards? Because they're not doors. Mm, I don't know, but like the rear interior panel things technical terms only dad's just rung me and he's on his way with sockets this is the main problem with like having a unit and having too many cars so they're not all in one place because you don't have all your tools in one place i've actually misplaced my tea coolest dad ever i do actually feel a little bit on edge with all this today because i'm here on my own Charlie's at work. If I have any questions or anything goes wrong, I have no one to ask. Engine is already out, that's probably the most important bit. Most of the stuff that was in the engine bay we've taken out anyway. Aircon's gone, four wheel steer stuff that doesn't work has gone, power steering has gone. So I was gonna smooth the bay. I'm going to grab a 10 and an 8. I hope the best. Anyway, I'm trying to take this wiper motor out just in case I ever need it if mine doesn't want to work or whatever. Right, I've done the three bolts. It's loose at the other end. Right, it's loose here. So it is just this. Let's get off this. Let's see if I can pull it. <laughs> That was delightfully easy. Whee! I love it when I feel like things are working and I know what I'm doing, even though I absolutely do not. I do actually have four stud to five stud adapters because most, well, I'm going to say most, but I assume probably all preludes are four by one, 14.3. My wheels I've bought are 5 by 114.3, so I bought the adapters, but I think I'm going to do a 5 stud conversion to then be able to run bigger dish. So I'm obviously at a loss with getting the seats out because I don't have the strength. So I have to... I've decided to take my steering wheel off. I cannot deal with the seats right now. So I'm going to try a little hardest to get my steering wheel and my boss kit off. Bearing in mind I struggled like hell to get this on. <sighs> this might be an O for me. So here is my box. Uh, currently on 115,000 kilometers because obviously it's an import. There is my fuel gauge that doesn't work. Right, let's see. How are we going to get these? Oh, we've got to be some screws. Ouch. There's a broken screw in a tab there. I actually don't know what my other clocks in the other prelude are on, but obviously because I'm putting my engine out of this one in, then I will probably put these clocks in just to reflect the mileage. Oh, I do see another screw. It's hiding. It's right down here somewhere. We're good. Right, so that's definitely loose that side. I can see the plug. Okay, I have managed to get plastic cover off. I literally can't get the angle to get the screw driver in. Is that a plug? That's easier. I don't understand this because it says hour and minutes as if this is how you change your clock, but then on the back of the plug it says ABS, so I just don't really understand. There's only one switch, so how can it do both? Take this out. Little tabs. So yeah, there's a temp and fuel gauge that doesn't work. Just a burn out. It's such a shame. I'm gonna strip some more stuff out, I think, and pull the whole dash out maybe. Like throw myself in deep for my first project car. What are the plastic on this speedo? 
round where the screws are. It snapped and I've not had it out before. I don't know whether it's in my place. This plug is a wee bit fiddly and they're out. I'm really at the point of not knowing what I'm doing or what to do next now because it is a case of I need to get my boss kit off which I'm really struggling to do on my own. I need to get my dash out which I really haven't I don't know where to get where to start. When I also need to get the front center console. Oh actually this is loose. It's cracked. That wasn't me. It was already cracked just in front of the gear stick. But I think I can try and get this out and then I might be able to get the actual dash out. Quick refreshment. That just splashed up my nose. Both sides are loose. It's already broken, so I am just gonna yank. Yay! Broken here. So I'm actually gonna get this out of the way. Because this might help. This appears to be the cigarette lighter. I'm unplugging it here. I have masking tape, I have a pen. I'm going to start being a good girl and marking what these plugs are, just in case when I pull this whole wiring loom out, I'm like, what? Cigarette lighter. This is a cigarette lighter plug. Cool. What else did I unplug down here? Oh yeah, it's that blue one. Gear, stick, question mark. That's two things marked up. So this one I've marked cigarette lighter. So that goes to here is where the cigarette lighter is powered from. This one says gear stick question mark. That grey one goes into the blue one. And then that runs here. If anyone knows the technical name for this, please do let me know in the comments. Now I think I'm going to unplug these with also to do with the gearbox. This is just my hydro line actually. I don't even know if I can, I don't think I can just pull that out because I don't know where that's attached to. This is just not a, a one handed job really. Right, I managed to get that little brown one out that I was struggling with, with one hand. Now I'm doing the one it's connected to. The little bit you need to press is underneath it, which makes it really great fun. Ow! Put yourself together. Got cars to build. I've pushed it all the way in. I just can't wiggle it out. Oh, well, I've done it now. Hopefully. Yes, then! Perfect. Labels. Don't forget labels. I'm going to assume it's for the gearbox because it goes to underneath the gear stick. I'll put a question mark. I'm trying. I don't know. The problem with having a car, especially having like a car that needs a lot of work, or if you can't do it yourself, it costs a lot. I just hope that this can give some people some inspiration, even just to do something smaller, like I don't know, change your wheels, do a service put a lowering kit on like splitter and stuff you know just little things like everyone starts somewhere that's the thing maybe four years ago i'd never really touched my car myself and then i just got into modifying my daily the a1 first thing i did was get a new grill and like split kit and skirts and everything for it and i helped my dad put them on with me so it's kind of been learning since then and then it was like changing wheels getting coilovers then i got different wheels got air ride fitted a custom spoiler and all that but obviously everything i've done so far i've had help from either my dad or charlie or our friends jay and brandon half the reason why i wanted a project car especially a japanese project car was because i can do stuff myself and i can learn and it's not the end of the world if something goes wrong and if my car's off the road because i've got a daily i just hope that people feel like they can give stuff a go themselves i don't make it look easy by all means because i don't know what i'm doing but if i can just undo some screws and pull some stuff out then hopefully other people think that yeah i can do that i can now get to the plug at the back of my double din yes i need some tea see if i can pull the screen out and then oh i pulled the knob off right if i can just get the plugs wonderful okay that says a and t let me write that a n T radio. Now, as I said, electrics are not my forte. So anyway, what I was going to do was unplug here. Obviously, I can unplug this side, but I don't know what the hell this side is about. I'm going to not do that. But at least I can see behind. It's obviously a bit difficult because of this bar and 
not having the room because I cannot move my gear stick without my button in here. Right, how many we got? Just the one. That's too big. He's a little fill, not a big fill. Little fill. It's coming, it's coming! Yeah! Much easier to take the frame out than to pull the whole thing out. Lefty Lucy. Righty tighty. So I need to turn it right because it's backwards, right? Hallelujah, the frame is off. I think. There's a lot going on. There's a screw right at the back. Ow, that's off. So I took out the screw behind here and behind here. Then I took out this little blue light, which was in this hole. I don't actually know what the purpose of that is. And then I found a screw that is behind there. I think you guys might just live on my door handle now because we don't have to hold the phone. We'll just go with it. I want a baby screwdriver. Oh, I found it. Hallelujah. I've got to do some, some acrobatics. All right, and now we have that out. And also come out. I'm just going to pop my double then back in there. We are at this stage. There is obviously not a lot going on in the middle. I'm going to try and take like the dash out now and also like take like my heating unit out too it's chaos in this car there's stuff everywhere <laughs> Have one side of the underneath of the dash whatever the technical term for that is it's so hard to see ah there's a screw and do that okay. cool it's looking a bit that's for wear in here i've got a pocket full of sockets if i was a 10 mil socket where would i be Oh, it's not just a side. That's a Good to know. Let's see if we can do that on the other side. I need a skip. But I don't have anywhere to put a skip because of this skip on my driveway. This is the most pathetically tiny glove box I have ever seen in my life. What are you going to put in there? And although I've taken a fair bit out so far, I'd quite like to get this whole dash out at least. A bit annoyed about the front seats, but if I can get the dash out, I will be very happy. There are some more screws. There we go. Just two. Let's see. I mean, I think there's probably only going to be maybe a couple in the middle. In the middle, that is fixed. Where well, I have taken two bolts out of these seats, they now do this every time I sit on them. It's a bit annoying. I did snap this when I was trying to take this out. It's already had a crack in it anyway, so I'm not going to cry about it too much. And if I can surprise it out somehow, this is probably not the correct way to take this out. However, it is broken, and therefore I shall not waste my time. I'm trying to see if I can find any plugs. There's a plug. That probably goes to the heater matrix or something. Just saying words that I've heard. <laughs> I feel like there's no other way to pry this out because there's no screws or anything. It is what it is. Oh, okay, I've got clips. And actually, do you know what? None of the clips are broken. So it's a shame I actually broke the bottom part. <laughs> top half is actually fully intact. It's a shame it's only the top half. Never mind. Wow, look, it's kind of cool to see how the vents are inside. The vents seem to be attached to the top of the heating bed. If only my front seats weren't in, I would have so much more room to investigate. I'm also curious to know what you think the kind of vibe is, or what you would do if you were me. Let me know. And I'll just in the meantime be here struggling with these bloody screws. I dropped my socket then, but luckily it fell on my foot, so it didn't get lost in the abyss. And yeah, that ain't happening. I don't know what this is. Oh, I got it. This drawer's 
airing from the vents in the side into there, I guess, for the heat of it, and then blows it out. Genius. Quick little bit of tea. It is getting to that time where I've nearly had enough of failing today. Heating controls. Okay, there's one. Get around here. so close but so far I don't know what that noise was I need to try and get my head under here but I've now pulled this forward so much further that I don't actually know if I can get my head under there try do some acrobat Jesus Christ I'm gonna get stuck no it's like crushing my ribs man no film I've decided that I'm calling it for today because it's now four o'clock. I've been out here since like 10. I've stripped a fair bit. It's getting cold because the sun's going in. I'm getting too aggravated with these couple of screws that are holding this dash on. For my sanity, I'm going to call it a day, cut my losses, pick my battles and finish this off and I'll edit. So this might be part one of stripping the back prelude because it's a long one anyway but if you've made it this far please do subscribe it makes it a bit easier on days like this when i'm like why the f are doing this and people have messaged and said like i'm really excited to see the build like please it keeps me going so if you haven't already go and watch my previous videos that give a bit of background as to what the hell i'm doing here and i will see you on the next one